Freezer higher. Okay, we're going to film some flames of war. One save, one dead. I'm going to remove this stand right here. All right, two skill Check checks. Check out this beachfront. Three, three skill checks. Well, you know, the last two skill checks for four. It's an opening. So two skill checks for four. One, yes, remove the stand. I only have one left. It's my MG team. The last yep. two turns. Okay. I'm leaving. Yeah. That's 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 cockamamie <laughs> bullshit. I'm okay, I'm, but I was running these guys. Now there is a the command the stand that was right here. Get there now. And I think if we take them, it's a victory for the Americans. If they take that, it's a victory. He's going to assault there, but there's no position for him to escape. You have an idea of the scale of this. Are you an assault base? Yeah, we're going to go. That's what I like to see. I'm going to bring you videos of this. <laughs> I'm going to learn this, guys, and let you know what it's all about. Okay, right, give us a synopsis of what's going on, just real quick, in um, your section. The Americans are trying to advance and take this objective, and so far they're doing pretty good. They've removed the obstacles that were blocking the road so the tanks okay. can now come across. They've breached the anti-tank ditch so they can come across there. And they've wiped out two platoons here. The barbed wire is gone. So they're pushing real heavy into this what's left of the German line. So they've, they've done uh, pretty outstanding, actually. So how many points are you playing at? It's really not a point game, it's a historical battle based on the actual forces that So we this is out of a book or did you pay it? This, this is actually uh, his brainchild. Scott's brainchild. Awesome. You, Scott? Good, man. This is awesome. This is beautiful. Hey, I got more chins than the Chinese home Anybody here? Okay. Okay. He used to be a little heavier, so it he works. makes all these fat jokes. <laughs> 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 I think you do it. I think you do it. And this is my favorite part. The terrain for this stuff is just fantastic. I mean, look at this. Look at this detail. The stone walls and roads and everything. And you can get inside of these buildings, put your units inside of here, and they get extra cover for being in... Uh, and stone buildings and that sort of thing. Terrain is a big deal. When we've talked about, we, we've uh, we're gonna shoot some more uh, video actually about later on. But we've gone around and we've talked with a bunch of guys that sell this stuff and play this. And if you like terrain and uh, pretty reliable terrain, I thought the rules I thought were cool. Yeah. yeah. Like I was uh, I was very impressed by uh, just what we learned from the kind of demo game we played. Um, it all seemed like very simple. It was fast, and it really easy to learn. Yeah, just yeah. From what I saw, it was like, oh yeah, simple makes complete sense. It's, yeah. Uh, very true to how it was. You know. Yeah, I thought it was very accurate. This guy uh, Joe, I think it was from Gale Force Nine. He kind of had us play a little demo of the game. Yes. And yeah, that's where we kind of got familiar with kind of how it runs and how everything operates. And holy cow, Flames of War is really fun. So Ren and I, I, I like, we mentioned, I, we're going to play this and then let you know what it's like. One thing I really liked about it that I noticed real fast was uh, like if you're in a building, you got a huge advantage, as it should be, honestly. Because then you're in a freaking building. It's a lot better if you run out and open. Yeah, you like shoot out of windows and it kind of calculates like if you're in a building and there's windows right there and you can shoot out of it. Yes. And look at these bombed out things. Oh, check out. Look at that. I mean, and look at this over here. I don't know if this roof comes off or not. Yeah. It'll be, I'll be the, uh, the, the Jeopardy model. Yeah, it's all you guys get. <laughs> well, but check it out. So you can have units inside. on the bottom floor and then and you can put units up on the second floor. You can shoot out of the windows and everything and get cover. I mean, it's just, it is fantastic. And then, when, yeah, of course, when things yeah, get blown these, up, these pieces it has look this. custom, like somebody build them out of like plastic card and stuff like that, but they're really good. Yeah, look at this one. This has got a bathroom and everything in it. Actually, no, I think it's a Yeah, most yeah, of the stuff this I looks think like is like a model train yard kit. Yeah, there's these little like, plastic card kits, and there's also a, a really fine um, cardboard kind of kits that are also, not cardboard, like really yeah. kind of like a. Well, I'm pretty sure uh, Gale Force is nine. I think there's this, like resin or something like that. Yeah, look at that bridge. Yeah. Fantastic. And uh, yeah, so here we are at Adepticon. Here's the other one. Look at this. There's fields. The and a river going through. A river runs through it. 
More buildings. More buildings. Oh, oh I'm gonna go over here really quick too. Look at this village. Check it out. These are like the kind of the paper ones, which are really cool. You pull the top off, and the building gets destroyed. All right. Then you have this shell of a building that's been wiped out in town. That was so Check it out. I'm just real, real cool. And you can you can move and you can shoot and you can assault. I hit just here at the paperterrain.com. This is very, very cool. Sean would say that's ah, very evocative. So evocative. We invoke the evocative. So but there's um, the European towns and cities. Uh, there's a beachhead we saw earlier. North Africa. Isn't that awesome? Uh, completely bombed out and destroyed cities. Look at this stuff. What a riot. I mean, you can run around here. Look at the details on this stuff. Like bullet holes everywhere and the blood splatters. And yeah, these look at this great. destroyed train. Oh, this industrial center has just been wiped out. Oh, one thing I really liked is when, uh, is when you're in a building, you actually have to be able to see out a window to see. Yeah, so if you can't get actual line of sight, then yeah. no shooting at all. Look at that, look at that, death row. Also notice in the uh, assault phase, I'm pretty sure we're led to believe it correctly, basically you keep doing the assault and stuff until somebody breaks. There's no like, oh, stuck in close combat the entire game. Yes, yeah. Because it ends when you Something happened, it. yeah. There's I this, like yeah, it's the resolution yeah, right off nice. that. that was nice. Oh. Like these oh, look at this, look at this one. Holy cow, look at this church. Holy cow. Yeah, so you can put like sniper teams and all kinds of cool stuff down inside of the church here. And all kinds of different, the unit variety is very accurate to history. I mean, it is just fantastic. I mean, look at that. Oh, so cool. Look at this cemetery. Wow. I don't know how much time we had on this thing. We're going to shoot a little bit more, go on to the other side. It's like there's some more desert stuff. Uh, some more towns. Yeah, I got the... Did you see the ships over there? The battleship? The transports? All right, we're going we're gonna to break off a little bit, and then we're going to um, kind of compile some more video for this um, Flames of War thing. We're excited. Ren and I are going to play. Ren is going to be... Russians. I'm going to be Germans. And we're going to duke it out historically. So, yes. yeah, we're going to learn the game and then kind of tell you about it and do a little battle report kind of things like with Fantasy and 40K. And then uh, to kind of introduce and get a little more uh, savory goodness on our dinner plate. So, anyway, talk to you later. Bye.